Johan Hello, and welcome to Keeping My Code Hand Strong, where today we'll be learning about eSpeak, the command line speech synthesizer tool. Also, how to incorporate it into our Python scripts with the subprocess module. So before long, we'll have your computer sounding like the Rasta Stephen Hawking's. <laughs> I love you, Stephen. Let's get started. So uh, first thing we need to do is download the eSpeak program, and that's done. I, I usually do it through my download manager. I'm using Debian, so uh, we'll be using the Aptitude Manager. Uh, use your corresponding download manager for your flavor of Linux. Uh, Windows people, you're on your own. Um, so here we'll go sudo apt-tat-get install eSpeak. And because it's already on here, we'll bypass this step. But once it is installed, it's very easy to use. We just type eSpeak and then give it the options and then the text we'd like it to speak. Um, the text can be input from either a file, a string, or the standard in. So if we want to just type something as a string, just put it in double quotes what you want it to say. And then it'll go ahead and output that into... So whatever you put in those double quotes there, it will say, so we can make it say whatever. Whatever. So anything you put in those double quotes uh, in the string will be spoken. If you wanted to as well pull from a file, a text file, instead of the double quotes you'd use the TACF switch and give it the file. We've got one called test text in here, so let's try that. So instead of actually writing it out we just pulled from a, a text file, which is very cool. It's also got some other switches like the TAC A switch, which is good for the, to set the amplitude or the volume. There's a TAC P switch, which will change the pitch uh, from zero to two. Uh, excuse me, from zero to 99, and the default is 50 on the pitch. Uh, there's a TAC S switch for the speed in words per minute, and it goes from about 80 to 260, and the default is 175. So there's a couple of cool switches in there. There's the TAC V switch, which will change the dialect. Um, and we could go ahead and find out what dialects are on here. And pretty much with every command line tool, there's the TAC H switch, which will give you the help. So if we type eSpeak TAC H, it'll give us a list of all the commands that it's, uh, are available to the program. So that's helpful. There's also a TAC TAC Voices, which will give us a list of all the voices that come stock with it. So uh, by default it's going to come with the English, British English right here. So you could change it to whichever by just inputting as an argument to your tag V the code, the country code here. So if we wanted to change it to American English we could uh, we could give it the tag V and then specify we want English US and then we'll give it the TAC F for the file we want to use, and we'll use that same file and see what happens. You can also append variants onto the TAC V switch. Say if you wanted to change the gender from male to female, you would just append the plus sign and then an F for female, and you can go from one to four. Uh, let's try one. Hack the planet and it goes all the way to four, so if you wanted to go up to four, changes kind of pitch a little bit. Um, on the male side, it goes all the way up to from one to seven, so if we just uh, change that F to a M, and you can as well iterate through the pitches here from one to seven on the male side. There's also some, uh, there's a croak variant and a whisper variant, so that's kind of cool. You can make it croak by pressing the plus croak switch. Or you could also make it whisper, which is kind of creepy. I like this one. Very cool. Another great feature about eSpeak is uh, instead of pulling from a file or if you wanted to not write it or what if you wanted to pull from a blog or a news feed or something and have eSpeak read it to you well we'd still use the TAC F but uh, so we have a test HTML in here let's try that with just the TAC F on there and see what it does HTML, head, title, hack in day planet, and keep in my code, head. 
we didn't take the whisper off of there, but as you could hear, or maybe not hear, it's reading out the entire code, the HTML code markup and everything. HTML, head, title, packet, tape, planet, and... And though some people do dream in that code, we really don't want to listen to it. We just want to hear the body, the contents of the page. Uh, and how we accomplish that is with the TAC M switch. So leave the TAC F because we still want to pull from that file, but give it the TAC M switch for markup. Hacking day planet and keeping my cold hand strong. Hack the planet. So that way it just pulls the title and the content from the body rather than actually reading aloud the HTML markup code. So that's a, one of the cooler features so you could pull down a blog post or a news feed and have it read aloud to you to uh, save time or just be cool. All in all, eSpeak is a very cool tool. What if we wanted to incorporate it into our Python scripts? Recently I did a project where I had my Twitter feed display to an LCD screen uh, simultaneously being read aloud by eSpeak. I was able to do that with the subprocess module built into Python. So uh, let's get into that real quick. So the subprocess module has shipped with Python since version 2.4, so it comes stock. So you really don't have to download anything or install anything to use it. So uh, let's get into our Python shell by just typing Python here. And once we're inside Python, let's call our module by importing it. So let's go import subprocess, and that will bring our module to play here. And how we use the subprocess module is, uh, well first let's talk about it. What it does is it's able, it, you're, you use it to spawn and communicate with additional processes. So you kind of kind of replace the old os.system function and all of that. So it's just a cleaner function. And how you'd use it, say if you wanted to like do a, a shell function, like a command line function like ls tac l or something, we'd call the module by calling subprocess and then we'd use the dot call function and that's what we're going to actually call our function and if we wanted to do an ls tac l we just need to in single quotes delimiate deliminate whatever the word is delimiate the each argument by single quotes here so we'll go ls and then we'll tell it uh, tac l here we'll, we'll give it tac l a here and um, we do need to put it inside of our brackets here because it's an array we're feeding in it a tuple here and then when you do shell functions like this you just need to let Python know that shell equals true because we want it to spawn a command shell and do the so that listed all of our directory that basically was using Python to access the shell function so how we can use that with eSpeak and with eSpeak we don't need to spawn a shell so we'll just use the inside of here so what we would do is the same thing we would just um, give it our argument so eSpeak being the main one and then we could give it the same amount of arguments as we did on the command line so we'll give it attack P and then uh, for the pitch we'll give it zero and we do need to put those in single quotes so we'll give it a zero and uh, we could give it the tac v again um, flag to change the voice. Um, as I promised, I'd have your box sounding like the Rasta Stephen Hawking before this is over, so let's work towards that end here. Um, so the tac v, we can give it uh, English tac West Indies. And then we'll give it tac f for file, but we do need to put that inside of our single quotes here. So we've got eSpeak, tac p for pitch, and we pitch down to zero, tac v, and that'll be the voice, English, West Indies, we'll give it a tac f, and for the tac f we'll give it a file, and that file we want to give it is uh, the test, the text. And let's uh, let's give that a try and see if it works. So 
So there you have it. You could uh, use all the same switches inside of Python just by putting them inside of those uh, single quotes. Um, if you wanted to not pull from a file, if you just wanted to say something, go ahead and put them in your double quotes to pull from a string. So it uh, works the same inside of uh, Python. Well, I guess it doesn't work uh, every time, but... Um, because we put that tack f switch on there, we need to. It doesn't have a file called hack the planet, so if we took that tack f switch out, hack the planet. it'll just pull it from the string there. So, very cool. Um, what if we wanted to give uh, good old Steven here a uh, girlfriend? We could change the gender to a female, so we do that by the plus and then the f. I be having the smartest new gel in the bomb that lot you the boss seen. Don't even try feet is. Booyaka, what we say? A lot have mercy. Shabba, right down there by the beach, boy. So there you have it. Uh, that is how you're able to use eSpeak in your Python scripts. Uh, so I'd really enjoy seeing what you guys come up with this. And uh, until next time, I'll be keeping my code hand strong.